Right, nearly done with this liquid clear. Phalo green. A little bit green down here, shall we? Phalo blue. Let's go into some phalo blue around here. We've got some blue going on down here. Some violet sort of colour over here. Go okay, violet. Let's just go, let's just use this purple, this violet colour everywhere here. A titanium white. A, a bit of a, a glow or something over here, and then it comes into a big one there. Don't use me. <laughs> I'm gonna get a blending brush. Right, let's go for it. Let's see what let's see what colours and lights it gives us tonight. Can add some here and there. Just pulling straight up. We just want some light coming off this one. This is like a big sort of bit of light coming through here. Just something different. And that's into that purple colour. Drag this up as far as you want it, making sure you can still see these lights. Look at them three different colours together. Beautiful. So, these three colours, don't think I'm going to need them. Well, I am going to need some, so I'll leave some out. I'm going to nick most of it, most of this colour, but leaving a little bit of each. And not look it in with this black here. So it's just a dark colour. So I'll use a fan brush, do a tree line. You can go high or as low as you want. There we go, we can just sort of blend the bottom of them out. Yeah, just sort of a swooping sort of motion. So I'm just gonna use the brush that I done and just dab the bottom. That give us a sort of slight little mist. I'm gonna take some of this white here. Um, Nick some of this purple, this blue. Let's just see what happens here. Starting over here. Just a little bank comes across here. Maybe it goes up a little bit. Just a little bit. Little grassy grassy bank. Maybe it comes around a little bit towards us. Uh, make some water here just by pulling down here. Make a nice little river that comes down here. I think we'll go somewhere to about there. Well, just pulling down here down that's just a bit of titanium white on there mixing with the other color and because we want this to be water we're going to pull across okay so just pull across very lightly and that gives that nice little watery sheen there we go just a little waterfall here make that straight there coming across here, some little sheens and stuff. Just going across the top of that and blending that in a little bit more at the top of the waterfall. Just there, just a little bit of mist and we'll just blend that out there. So we've got that water going into the mist there, look, creating that mist. We'll pull down, we'll make a little bit of water down here maybe to about there, the same thing, just pull down. We can have another little bit of water across there, sort of like that. But look at the colour of this one, isn't that beautiful? Just using 
some circles. There we go. Miss this off here, look. We've got our second waterfall. Hey, it looks awesome, thank you. This one is for sale if anyone wants to buy it. Um, it's quite a nice one, I think, so far, but we'll see how it sort of turns out. I'm just going to put some dark around this area, making some little bushes and stuff that live here. We can have this coming up quite high. There we go, look, just something like that. Bushes and things here. Just in front of this, look, come back and put some highlights on. Just some circles and stuff. I'm gonna miss that off as well. Just another little bit of mist there, look, see? Just that comes down there. Just a tree that lives there. We'll come down here. We'll do some uppy, uppy sort of trees. Just see some around the back there, quite like that. I think I'll leave that as it is. Lots of thinners. And hopefully if my script brush behaves, we can just do some nice little, just some little twigs and stuff. So I'm gonna go into this white, and then just into a little bit of the blue a bit of thick paint and just test it's just I've got a feeling this is gonna be okay but I'm just gonna go ahead oh look at that little cluster just lots of stars there we go maybe there's one there just coming out of there growing crossover things have some just flopping over the edge oh that looks nice doesn't it and into this sort of blue color and I'm just going to put the indication of a tree trunk in there I'll just dip the palette knife in the, in the liquid white and I just might be able to just put I've took the handle off as well just add in a little bit of light to these trees little bit of dabble on the other side which is that blue sort of colour. I'm going to go down there just dabble that in and take the script brush and literally just go down and make some streaks in that. There we go. Just on this side this is actually blue Tapping that in. This side is just white, okay? Some of the black underneath, but there we go. Don't forget, if you're not following me on YouTube, you can watch every single live stream that I've ever done up on YouTube. I'm gonna blend this out just slightly. There we go. 